Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan Shalasi, and welcome to the Sue Semrau Show. Getting the Knolls ready to play on game day isn't just a job for an elite coaching staff. Jessica Davis shares with us how the work of three individuals helped make the Knolls basketball season happen. Over to Thomas, Thomas, 15 foot jumper is knocked down, does not make it, but Aaron Brown with a put back. They're not the athletes on the court, and they're not the cheering fans or the cheerleaders on the sidelines. But without them, operating any athletic event wouldn't be possible. They're the FSC basketball team's equipment staff. With more than 10 years working with the FSC women's basketball team, equipment manager Eric Casto has become one of the lifelines at Florida State's Athletic Academic Support Department. We just get all the uniforms ready, uh, make sure all the players have their extra stuff on their loops, which would consist of their socks, undershirts, tights, anything like that, if they wear pads or knee braces or headbands or whatever they have. Although the staff works all season, their work starts before the season even begins. We do it at the beginning of the season when we get all our Nike stuff in, and then you just kind of get into a routine. And you, I mean, we count how many uniforms we get back there just to make sure we're getting what we're supposed to from Nike and to make sure we have everything so that um, it's not getting misplaced. There is one crucial role the equipment staff has, and it has nothing to do with basketball, but everything to do with laundry, all 1,630 loads of it since July. We stay about an hour, hour and a half afterwards washing uniforms for the next day just for stains or anything. All the shower towels from both teams, all the ref towels, um, and we'll start our laundry. In a bigger sense, we have stuff in our machines to kill like the MRSA staph virus because if one person gets that, it can spread through the whole team. When it comes to away games, the staff puts on the players' jerseys and other clothes in what's called a road loop. This road loop is like a suitcase to go, and thanks to an FSU alum inventing it, they get these road loops at a discounted price. So their practice shorts, their tights, their undershirts, their jersey, and um, we pack those up and they use them for practice on the road. And then um, it's easy when they're on the loop so that it all comes back in one piece. We have everyone's gear. The pressure isn't just on the players to perform well. It's also on the basketballs themselves. Unlike footballs, basketballs actually have no official inflation requirement because if they did, they would bounce differently on a hard court like concrete versus a soft one like a wooden court. Basketball is a little different because both teams play with the same ball in football. You use your own, like the home team uses their own set of footballs and then the away team uses their own set. But in basketball, if the ball is flatter or more inflated, both teams have to deal with it. But the referees check before every game and then they have, uh, they have control of the ball from the tip till the uh, final buzzer. After attending three different colleges, the phrase team equipment staff goes beyond assisting players for staff member Gina. It also refers to two other staff members she works with. Coming to FSU, it was definitely an adjustment um, after being an athlete and um, having a team atmosphere. So working within the equipment staff, I've definitely created those kind of um, friendships and relationships with um, not only Frank and Eric, but with the coaches, the players, and so I really like it here. Although the staff works mostly behind the scenes, they can be seen by every towel a player uses, every jersey that's worn, and every time the ball bounces on the court. The tight unit of three dedicated to serving FSU women's basketball. I'm Jessica Davis for Seminole Sports Magazine. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You never know when a job for the Seminole equipment staff may arise. However, rest assured, this team will get the job done.